thank God like this. Let the disease go away from me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let me be healed by your stripes. When you pray like this, immediately a miracle will happen. It is a terrible situation. Immediately, oh God, don't say, please save me, God. Thank God, saying, I thank you for you are with me even in this critical situation. The person who gives thanks offering is glorifying the Lord. The one who asks questions is glorifying Satan. This is Jesus Redeems Ministry. It is the ministry chosen by God to stand in the gap for the nation. Standing in the gap prayer which was started by God's blessing in 1980 has been continuing till now without any hindrance. Every month on the last Saturday around 40,000 people are attending this prayer meeting and praying for the nation. According to the Bible verse, Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Those who come to pray for the nation have been experiencing bountiful blessings by our Lord Jesus Christ in their lives. Now, listen to the message given by Brother Mohan C. Lazarus during the last Standing in the Gap prayer meeting. John chapter 8 verse 36 You will be freed indeed. You will be freed indeed. You may need freedom from some kind of a problem today. Maybe it is your sinful acts or your behavior, certain sinful bondages, sins which you are unable to stop. You need freedom from that. My life should be sanctified now. You may be thinking like that. God will give you freedom in that matter. Sometimes your body may be affected due to certain sickness. Hand has become inactive. Leg has become inactive. Kidneys have been affected badly. Like this certain parts of your body has been affected now. And you would have come here being affected by a disease. You may be wanting some freedom in your body. Jesus will give you the freedom today. Today even in your life things like black magic, or a demonic bondage is torturing you and you want freedom from that. Jesus is giving you a promise you will be freed indeed. Maybe you have a problem of debt. You say I am unable to come out of it. I am struggling due to poverty. I am unable to come out of poverty. I want freedom from that. God will give you freedom. Otherwise shame, insult. You are insulted because you don't have a child. You are insulted because your marriage is not taking place. You are in the midst of such shames and insults. You want freedom from that. God will give you freedom. Whatever problems you are facing now, whatever necessities you are having now, Jesus can do a miracle in that. God says you will be freed indeed. You will be freed indeed. God is going to set you free today. Hence, listen to this word carefully. And if you pray together with me, you are definitely going to get that freedom in your life today itself. Okay, what should you do to get that freedom? I want that freedom. I feel that I want that freedom. I want freedom in this matter. This is my problem. If I get freedom from this problem, I will be happy. This problem is hurting me a lot. If you want that freedom, what should you do? For that God has given a promise to us. Psalm 50 verse 15. Psalm 50 verse 15. Let's read. And call me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. Call me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. This is the promise for you today. You will be freed indeed. How can you get that freedom? Call me in the day of trouble. How can we call him? For that, if you read the previous verse, you will understand it. Verse 14 and 15. 
in Psalm 50 verse 14 God has written about two things when you call on God how should you call him if you want a reply and a miracle today God has written in the Bible as to how you should call him shall we read both these verses together sacrifice thank offerings to God fulfill your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble I will deliver you and you will honor me this verse starts from verse 14 God says sacrifice thank offerings to God fulfill your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble we should not just read verse 15 the beginning of this verse is in verse 14 so you should read both verses 14 and 15 together why when you call him in the days of trouble he doesn't answer you you say I am in trouble God has told me to call him I called him but he has not answered me read the previous verse first you should sacrifice thank offering to God and then call on him that is the first verse God says you sacrifice thank offerings and then call on me thank offering what does that mean in olden days people offered many kinds of offerings they used to give offerings and pray to God but God says you need not sacrifice birds or animals for me I want thank offering thank offering which comes from your mouth thanking means praising the God Almighty sacrifice thank offerings and then call on to God thank offering a sacrifice God receives it as a sacrifice so thanking the Lord Jesus we thank you Jesus Lord we thank you Lord we praise the Lord Jehovah we thank you Lord you will take care of everything thank you Jesus Jehovah you will fight for me thank you Jesus you will give me victory thank you Jesus you are Jehovah Shalom you are my peace thank you Jesus Jehovah Shamma you are with me always thank you Jesus Jehovah Rapha the God who will heal me thank you Jesus like this praise the Lord and call on him should not call him just like that we must thank him and call him in the Bible John chapter 11 when you read verse 41 standing in front of the tomb of Lazarus Jesus was praying he has taught us how to pray as to how should we pray he said dear father I thank you because you are always listening to me just hear this prayer carefully father Lazarus must be risen from death Lazarus who was dead should come alive he did not pray like that to God father I thank you because you are always listening to my prayers I thank you because you are giving me reply immediately in the same way Philippians chapter 4 when we read verse 6 it says like this do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition along with thanksgiving present your request to God how to request to God prayer with thanksgiving listen carefully first of all there should be thanksgiving in your prayer sacrifice thanks offering you should thank him and pray prayer with sacrifice thanks offering Jesus always thanked God first and then only he prayed to God like that we should also make it a habit to thank God first and then pray when we read Daniel chapter 6 verse 10 we know that Daniel was praying three times a day he knelt down first and then prayed to God and Bible says he gave thanks offering not just a prayer prayer with thanks offering Bible says he gave thanks offering first Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 we must pray for all the people plead to God request God pray to God Bible says we must give thanks offering so an important part in the prayer is thanking the Lord then how should we pray for example suppose you have a disease in your body you want to pray for healing you should tell like this Jesus I thank you for loving me so much I thank you for wanting me to be healed now I thank you for carrying my disease onto the cross 
I thank you for promising me that you will heal my disease by your strips. I thank you for hearing my prayers now. God, I thank you for standing beside me. Jesus, I thank you because you are going to heal my disease now. Thank God like this. Let the disease go away from me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let me be healed by your stripes. When you pray like this, immediately a miracle will happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For whatever matter you pray, it should be a prayer with thanks offering. First, you must give thanks offering to God. My child is very sick. Child is in deathbed. You must pray for the healing of that child. You should not cry immediately, God, what can I do? You gave me only one child. Are you going to take my child? If you cry, miracle will not take place. First, tell like this, I thank you for giving me this child. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank you for giving me this child. Never my child will get this disease without your knowledge. I thank you for giving him this disease. I thank you because this child will be healed and is going to become a witness for you. You are listening to my prayer. Thank you for listening to my prayer and my child is going to be healed. You are loving this child. Thank you very much. Learn to give thanks like this. Immediately a miracle will happen. Say Amen. Amen. You should not cry first itself. Don't say why this has happened to me. God, what will I do? If you cry and pray like this, you cannot get a miracle from God. You should pray with thanks offering. For whatever you pray, there is a problem in the job. There is a problem in the business. You should pray. When problems come, what should you do? Don't sit and cry always. First, you should say, "You gave me this job. Thank you, Father. You gave me this business. Thank you." You have led me miraculously till now thank you God Even now you are with me thank you for that you are listening to my prayers thank you father you are going to solve this problem thank you When you praise him and thank him you are confessing your faith in God When you pray Jesus I thank you for loving me I thank you for being with me I thank you for answering my prayers when you say like this Do you know what will happen? You are confessing your faith. You are confessing your faith on God. You are confessing not only your love but faith on God. You are beside me. You are hearing my prayer. You are going to show me a miracle. When you confess your faith on God, the miracle will be starting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you say why it is happening to me, why should I pray to you? You are confessing your disbelief on God. When you confess disbelief you won't get a miracle from God you should confess your belief that is why he says pray with thanks offering do you know what the bible says it says pray and then thank the lord almighty before looking and calling upon god before telling him about your necessities first of all thank god in everything always for every prayer learn how to thank god always any prayer any situation whatever situation it may be thank god for that situation first i am in a dangerous situation i am in a critical situation it is a terrible situation immediately oh god don't say please save me god thank god saying i thank you for you are with me even in this critical situation first you tell that you are with me god you are beside me say thank you god then god will say see my child has kept great faith on me that will tempt him to do a miracle instead oh god what will i do now i don't have anyone with me don't ever cry like that confess your faith and pray to him with thanks offering you are with me father you are hearing my prayer there are lots of dangers around me but you are with me now if only i thank you that is enough he will take care of everything what will i do i am serving you lord still i have this problem that problem if you cry to god with such kinds of necessities and requirements satan will be rejoice he'll clap his hands no miracle will happen to you your prayer should be changed say hallelujah hallelujah say hallelujah hallelujah i cannot walk i am sick i am in death bed what should i do thank god for that death bed to lord jesus soon after you are healed from the death bed Whom should you glorify first? I will be healed and glorify you. 
everything is happening for good i thank you for that god there may be a death in your family somebody is dead suddenly don't sit and curse god what sin did i do what mistake did i do why god has done this to me don't ask such questions to god he is not a god who does harm to you all the things all the things are working together for good all things are working together for good everything is working for good end will be always good now it will look like suffering but end will be good how will you show that faith by thanks offering god thank you for my sufferings thank you for these problems thank you for this loss oh god end will be good thank you god without your knowledge nothing will happen to me every day when you take bath and comb your hair four hairs will be falling from the comb god has counted even the hair that has fallen today four hairs have fallen from my child's head now he has this many hair on his head if god has counted the hair on our head what can you say you will pick up those four hair and put them in the waste basket and forget it but if god has counted and kept an account of our hair when i am the lord who cares about the fallen hair of your head won't our god care for your children for you and for your future life how should we praise him thank him for that you complain about your hair fall tell him thank you for the hair that is falling from my head immediately hair falling will stop thank god for everything without his knowledge nothing will happen he is a god who is watching everything that is why first pray to him with thanks offering then call on to god first the word thank you should come from you because the one who prays with thanks offering is glorifying god look at psalm chapter 50 verse 23 those who sacrifice thanks offerings honor me that is what god says thanks offering that is why job when everybody was dead his children were dead he lost his property he lost his reputation and honor everything was lost job who was a very rich man in the morning became a beggar in the evening but job didn't cry like this oh god what did i do why this to me what wrong did i do god has taken all my 10 children he didn't say anything like that the lord gave and the lord has taken away may the name of the lord be praised praise the lord that is what god saw that is why god has decided to give him twofold of whatever he lost the person who gives thanks offering is glorifying the lord the one who asks questions is glorifying satan When you ask why this has happened to me that means you are glorifying satan if you ask why god has done this to me you are glorifying satan that means you are wounding jesus christ understand clearly so that word should come out of your mouth never to question jesus christ he is the god who does everything for good he is the god who knows everything so thank god for everything always before keeping a request to him give him thanks offering so you should call upon him with thanks offering my dear friends i greet you all in the name of jesus christ god has spoken to you through this message call me in the days of trouble i will set you free he has given you a promise in whatever problems or situations you are now today you will be free god is going to give you freedom and make you happy you just wait you will see a wonderful change but you must call upon him that is what god says call on me now look at me and pray god says call on me now call jesus by his name when you call him pray with thanks offering he says call on me god says this in psalm 50 verse 14 thanks offering means praising the lord why should we praise him He has protected you till now isn't it he is with you isn't it he is taking care of wonderfully isn't it for all these you should give him thanks god i thank you for having your love on me i thank you for dying on the cross for my sake i thank you for giving me this kind of a promise i thank you because you are going to deliver me tell like this and thank him in the name of jesus let a miracle happen to me in this matter 
This is how you should pray. Shall we pray now? I am also praying with you now. If possible, you can kneel down, keep your problem at the feet of Jesus. If there are any sick people, keep your hands on the problematic places. Jesus is going to deliver you now. The circumstance is going to change. Shall we pray? Father, we believe the promise given to us. We believe the promise you had given. When you are in trouble, call on me, I will deliver you. See this family, this brother, this sister, your children who are in a very dangerous situation, Father. I am also praying along with them. I thank because you love these children, Father. I thank you because you have carried all our sufferings on the cross, Father. I thank you for the promise given to us, Father. I thank you because you are going to hear this prayer and do a miracle now. We pray to you with thanks offering, O Father. Let all the struggles be vanished from the life of these children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all the sorrows, fear and pain from the heart be vanished right now in the name of Jesus. With disease and weakness, those who have come with a dangerous situation and praying, Jesus, heal us and deliver us now. Let your nail-pierced hands be kept upon them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let those diseases disappear right now. Let the deathbeds be removed in the name of Jesus. Please look at the children who say this disease cannot be cured at all. There is no disease that cannot be healed by you. Let those diseases disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the bondages of curse be broken now. Let all the evil powers, witchcrafts and magical powers be vanished from these children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everything be ruined and their bondages be broken now. Let all the evil spirits get out of them now. The spirits of fear and the spirits of committing suicide. Let them get out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let it get out of that sister. Let the thought of suicide be removed. Let the thoughts of death go away now. Let the deeds of evil spirits get out of them now. God, instead of taking a wrong decision, save this family from such thoughts right now. Let them see a miraculous change. Make them rejoice by seeing a miracle now. I thank you for delivering them right now. I thank because your mighty power is descending upon them. Meet their financial problems. Let all the closed doors be opened for them. Let all their circumstances be changed. Let them rejoice seeing your miracle. I thank you for blessing these children, O oh Father. Thank you, thank you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Father. Amen, amen. My dear friends, God has blessed you. He is loving you. You must live a life of deliverance. That is his wish. Lord Jesus Christ will bless you forever and ever and lead you with a tremendous joy. Amen. Dear viewers, kindly share with us the blessings that you have received through this program. Please send your address with phone number to our address below. Jesus Redeems, Department of New Media, Nalamavadi, Tutikurin District, 628211. Phone number 04639-220022. For 24 hours prayer support, call 04639-220022. May God bless you.